Hey, what's going on everyone? It's B. Ava here again for another trailer reaction. This one is for Fox's The Gifted. This is Fox's series. This does not have anything to do with the MCU to my knowledge. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments section below. I saw the first trailer not so long ago. Didn't really know what it was about because um, just to be honest, I don't have that much faith in Fox besides the, you know, the Logan movie that they did was great. Uh, Deadpool was great and uh, what was the X-Men movie First Class was good and Days of Future Past was good too everything else I've been pretty disappointed about but we're going to check this trailer out give it a chance I like the first one like I said we're going to see if we like this one put on these headphones and y'all can stop listening to me talk but watch me watch the trailer here we go You never know, you're a mutant. Help me! What is that? Until it happens the first time. I need to find my brother! On this day, everything changes. Forever. I forgot my name. Two mutant kids from Dallas almost took down a high school gym. Feds are coming in. If it wasn't too hot before, it sure as hell is now. I just can't believe there wasn't any warning. Mom, you know that's how it happens. It's moments of stress or danger. Dad talks about this all the time. We all know about your father's work. I don't see how that makes you an expert. Mom, I know because... How do you think we got out of that gym? Am I might crock as hell if my kids were mutants. Why tell me? Dad puts people like us in jail. My experience, things change when it's your own kid. Yeah. You sure about the mutant incident at the high school? Those are my kids. What? My family needs help. We can't take this risk, all right? Then when do we fight? The X-Men, the Brotherhood, we don't even know if they exist anymore. But we're getting picked off one by one. This is the story of two families. Is everyone? Yeah, we're all here. Who came together to protect each other. Cops, coming fast this way. Not the ones with resources. But the ones in the shadows. Fighting to hide. To escape. survive this is our story go now the solar flare Girlfriend, you ever burn her? Yeah, she doesn't care. That's why she's my girlfriend. Kinky. <laughs> you know, I like that. Oh, I broke the head. I'm about to do it again. Put the mic over there. Um, I like that a lot, even better than the second trailer. And I got it got really intense when they were, uh, sh you know, showing the. Let's cut this off. When they were showing the powers of each mutant. And then there was bringing up the t their name or whatever. Like you saw the the two brothers and sisters were named Strucker. You had Blink. She was uh, she could control like portals and whatnot. Uh, Thunderbird. Um, like cause some of these characters were in the future uh, for the days of future past. The movie that came out a few years ago, uh, which was pretty good as well. Directed by Brian Singer. He is taking the helm at this right here. Um, he's OK. He's like what I consider like a competent director. 
Uh, there's just not anything special about him. He doesn't suck, but at the same time, he's not great either. He's just, he's going to do exactly what the studio tells him. And, you know, I kind of want more for that, you know, more for my money, even though I'm not going to be paying for this, it's going to be on TV. But what I, uh, what I realized when I was watching it is they said those brothers and sisters were named Strucker. Um, so their father is named Strucker as well. And I was like, oh yeah, Strucker from the comics. You know, he's like obsessed with either capturing or destroying or controlling the mutants or whatever. But in the comics and the TV shows and the stuff I know him from, they never presented him as a good guy. He was always a villain of some, uh, some sort, some, the antagonist. But, uh, with him having kids now and the way he was like, hey, uh, sorry. Well, like, hey, uh, the, the the mutant kids of the high school that incident that was that was my kids. It seemed like they're trying to flip it and make him the good guy, or whatever. I also like at the very end where the mother was like, you know, hey, uh, this is also a gift or whatever. Then it came up the gift that that's pretty cool right there. But one thing about Fox that they just still haven't, uh, you know, locked down is they either they don't know or they don't give a crap about continuity. It's continuity, spontaneity. And the reason why I bring that up is he said, I think it was Thunderbird in the trailer was like, hey, um, we don't we're getting picked off. I don't know if the the X Men or the the Brotherhood or whatever if they still exist. So I imagine that this is taking place post the X Men world universe. If that's the case, why is everybody so shocked that they're mutants? It should be understood and it should be like a normal part of life. Uh, but we're just going to have to wait and see. But overall, I really did like the trailer, but you know, and that was just my opinion. What did you think? Did you like the trailer? Did it turn you on? Did it turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide. You can uh, also click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. Go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it, and also look me up on social media. And guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning Oh, I almost forgot. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, thank you yet. Black Panther is coming out next year during Black History Month. And me as a black guy, that just means the world to me. I love comics, I love Black Panther, and I love Marvel. When the first teaser trailer dropped, uh, back on June 9th during Game 4 the NBA Finals, I was through the roof excited. And so with it being Friday now, tomorrow, I cannot wait Saturday to come and it'd be Comic Con. And they release a new trailer, like I'm going to lose my crap. Like I can't wait and I would love to be on the red carpet when that movie drops next year. Is it a long shot? Yeah, but hey, I'm going for it. Whether I'm on the red carpet on the side with the fans, either way will be happy for, with me. But you can help me get in there, get there by sharing this video 1,000 times. And guys, again, I just want to thank you for tuning in for my opinion slash reaction for the new Gifted trailer by Fox. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brenda Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.